Now before we go over how to modify your worksheets here, let me introduce you to my workbook. Up at the top I've got my essential oil sales and down below I've got five worksheets in my workbook. The fifth one here that's active that you can see is selected down below is my overall sales. Sheet one is the sales for California, sheet two Utah, New York, and then Arizona. Which you couldn't tell by looking down here on the names of the worksheet tabs there, the generic names. What I can do is I can go ahead and rename them, and there's three ways that I can, well, at least that I know of, that you can rename the worksheet tabs. The quickest way for me, let me go ahead and select sheet one, is to double click. When you double click, it selects the uh, title of the sheet. Just simply start typing over it. Well, your cursor is still flashing in there, so you can hit the backspace key, use the arrow keys if you need to. In any case, when you're done, go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard so it solidifies and accepts your text. That's one way to go ahead and rename your worksheets. Another way, let me click on sheet two, is to right click. In the shortcut menu, you have rename. Selects it, just as if you double clicked on it. Go ahead and type in, hit enter. The other way, the longer way, is to come up here on the home tab to the cells group, click on the format drop down arrow, and under the organize your sheets, there's rename. Click on it. Highlights it and just start typing. Let me abbreviate it and Y, hit enter. It's just easier for me to double click. It's a shortcut here, double click, A Z, abbreviate it, hit enter, and then of course, double click. Let's do totals, hit enter. Now, aside from renaming my worksheet tabs down below, which makes it nice because now I know what that worksheet's all about, it's the California sales, I can also change their colors. The default blue here. Let's say it's not working for me. Let's say all the states that had great sales, I want their colors to be green, and those that had mediocre, yellow, those that are bad, maybe in red. In any case, if I want to go ahead and change the color of one of the worksheet tabs, just right-click on it, go up to Tab Color, and there you go, go ahead and choose one. Now you can see that the color's kind of faded there. The reason why it's faded is because this is the active worksheet. It's not until you actually click off of it that it becomes inactive that it brings out its full color. If I want to go ahead and color this one, again, the long way is to come up here on the Home tab to the Format uh, drop-down arrow in the Cells group, and, well, there's your tab color. Like I said, if I'm down here in this neck of the woods, why would I go all the way up there? In any case, unless you're already up there, let me go ahead and right-click down here, go to Tab Color, and choose another one, maybe green, and then click off. You can see that's now solidified, the full color. Now if you have a lot of worksheet tabs that you want the same color, instead of right clicking on each one, which can be tedious, especially if you have dozens or I guess hundreds, go ahead and click on the first worksheet, hold down the shift key, and then click on the last worksheet tab, and it selects everything in between, well including both the first and the last. And you can tell that they're selected, or at least know that they are when you can see them bleached, no color, they're all in white. All you have to do is go ahead and right click on any one of these worksheet tabs, to give it a tab color, and it'll go ahead and color all the other tabs that are selected to red. When I'm done, just go ahead and click on another worksheet tab, click off, it deselects those three sheets that I had selected, because let me go back, shift, click those three worksheets. When I click on one or the other, they're still selected. And that doesn't work, especially if I want to go ahead and say, oh, I want to just change the color for this tab. If I right click, on that tab, they're still selected, and if I go back up to the tab color and do uh, some sort of blue, notice down here, when I hover over blue, on the tab color is that it selects all three. So in any case, go ahead and click on another worksheet tab that's not selected there, and it'll deselect it. Same thing if you click on the first tab, shift-click the end tab. You don't have another worksheet tab to click on, just go ahead and click off on one of the selections, and it will deselect it. That's fine. In any case, there's the bulk way of changing the colors of all the worksheets at the same time. Now we want to move our worksheets around. Let's say, well, AZ begins with the letter A for Arizona. I want to alphabetize this and put them in ascending order. Arizona should be first, so if I want to move it from this part in the workbook and move the worksheet tab to the beginning, you can do it one of two ways. Either click and hold your left mouse button down long enough that when you get this little sheet uh, below your pointer there, that means that the sheet is willing to follow you. Keep the left mouse button down and go ahead and move it. Wherever that black little triangle ends up is where it's going to dump when you let go of the mouse. There we go. That's one way. Probably the easiest way, unless you've got a ton of worksheets here and they're cut off because they can't all squeeze here. And then you have to use these uh, arrows to move from one worksheet to the other. Probably the better way is to right click on the worksheet and then go up to move or copy. Click on that. Right now I'm in the Essential Oil Sales Workbook. That's what you see up at the top, and it says, okay, here's all the worksheets available in the workbook. The Sheet tab that I just right-clicked on, or the one that's highlighted here, where do I want to go ahead and move this to? 
what worksheet do I want to move it in front of or before? Well, come down here. I'll take Arizona that I right-clicked on and move it before Utah. Go ahead and click OK. It moves it around. Like I said, it's a lot easier than clicking and dragging and dragging and dragging if you've got hundreds of these worksheet tabs. You can actually move this to a new workbook or another workbook. If you move it to another workbook, that other workbook has to be open. If you just want to move it to a completely new workbook, well, let me show you both. Go ahead and right-click on the tab, go to Move or Copy, opens up. Unless you check this box, create a copy, it's always going to move it, okay? So if I want to move this to a new workbook, there's the workbook. Click on the drop-down arrow and a new book and click OK. It moves Arizona outside into a new workbook with a generic name, Book 1, until I actually click Save and give it a name. Okay, down at the bottom of my taskbar, there's Book 1. Here's my original workbook. Arizona's no longer there because it completely moved it, okay? Let me go back to the workbook. Now that I have both workbooks open, if I want to move it back to this workbook, well, it has to be open because when I right-click on it and I go to Move or Copy, I'm currently in Book 1. Click on the drop-down arrow. What other workbooks are open? Well, the essential oil cells. It says, fine, you can move it to this workbook, but before which worksheet in the workbook? Um, I think let's do before totals. So it's before totals, but after New York. Click OK. Pulls it out of that workbook, and there's Arizona right there. So if you want to move it to another workbook or copy to another workbook, make sure that that workbook is open, okay? For example, in Windows 7 here, the operating system, I can just go ahead and right-click on the, uh, the program button down below, and I get a list of my recent workbooks that I had open at one time. The top five, let me go ahead and open Expanded Payroll. That's open. Let me go back down to the taskbar, click on the uh, corresponding button to the workbook I already had open, restores it. Now if I want to go ahead and copy it to the other workbook, in other words, I want Arizona here, but I want to copy it to another workbook and be able to maybe save that and mail it off to the manager who's over Arizona, but yet still retain the Arizona worksheet here. Just right-click, again, move or copy. Because I have the other workbook open, I can click on the book drop-down arrow, select that workbook, and it says, okay, where do you want to move this before? Well, it only has one worksheet, and it's the DF payroll. But before I click OK, make sure that we check make a copy of it. Click OK. So it adds it before the DF payroll, takes me to that workbook, and that's great. All I have to do is go ahead and click Save, and I'm done, and close out. I'm going to go ahead and close out and not save this. Go back to my uh, workbook here. And not only can you create copies to other workbooks that you have open or to a new workbook, you can also create copies within the workbook here. So if I want to, let's say I've got a new state, Georgia, instead of creating a new tab here and having to retype in all the items, how about if I just make a copy of this and just rename it to Georgia? So to do that, right click, go ahead and move or copy, then create a copy, and let's put it before totals, click OK. So it'll go ahead and create a copy, and because it, Excel doesn't want to give it the same name, so you're not confused, and it's not confused, it names it AZ2. Double click on it, go ahead and call it Georgia, hit enter, and then come up here, Boy, I save myself a lot of time when I go ahead and copy it and just go ahead and rename a few of the parts, the tab and the cell here to Georgia. If I made a mistake and I don't want this worksheet anymore, just go ahead and right click on it, come up and delete it, and it's going to be permanently gone. Are you okay with that? Yes. Another way to copy, besides right clicking and going to move or copy, is that you can actually click on the worksheet tab that you want to copy, hold down the control key, and then click and drag, and just like you're moving a worksheet, you know, when you just click and drag the worksheet, if you hold down the control key, notice that white little page there has a plus sign in the middle of it. That means it's going to copy it. If I let go of the control key, the plus sign disappears. So hold it down, and wherever that black little triangle is at, or ends up, and you let go of your mouse, that's where it's going to create a copy. So I can go ahead and move that triangle in between California and Utah, let go of the mouse first, then let go of the control key, and you've got your copy. And then, of course, I can go ahead and rename the tab, rename the uh, cell here, and don't forget to update the numbers unless, you know, if you made this Georgia again, it really had the same numbers or the cells as Arizona. In any case, let me right-click and go ahead and delete that. And Finally, if you just need a blank new worksheet, you can come down here and just go ahead and click on the Insert Worksheet tab. Opens it up, gives you a generic name. You know how to go ahead and rename it and color it and whatever you need to do. Or if you want a new worksheet in between two other tabs here, you can go ahead and right-click on Utah, Insert, 
brings up a window. What do you want to insert? New worksheet, double click on it. It dumps it in between, well, to the left of whatever worksheet you right click to insert on. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.